Hello, good morning everyone and uh, welcome to Actify's webinar where today we'll be looking at Actify's central solution but we'll also be discussing why it's crucial for organizations to make better use of their available data in order to significantly boost performance. I'm your host Scott Miller and we're also joined by Mark Anderson who will be providing a product demonstration of our central solution in just a moment. If you have any questions during the webinar, um, I'll point all your questions to our chat board. Uh, we'll have the opportunity to gather any questions that you might have and respond to them during our product demonstration in just a moment. So today we live in a world that is continually being transformed by data and there is a real data explosion and the right tools are needed in order to effectively leverage the hugely valuable opportunity that data can present, but also what data can unlock. Now, the right tools, it takes data in, it transforms that information, um, and the output is meaningful content that enables you to make smarter, faster decisions that can directly impact the bottom line. At Actify, we're more than just a viewing tool, and we've developed several software solutions for the discrete manufacturing industry to help companies make better use of their data. And I believe that software tools can provide tremendous benefits, um, especially for manufacturing companies through the intelligent use of their available data, and also through simply automating mundane processes. So I wanted to start the session by looking at some data trends and technologies within the manufacturing space and I'm sure most of you will be familiar with these terms such as big data, business intelligence, IoT or the Internet of Things but if you're not then just a very quick Google search will provide you with days worth of reading material on these subjects but from my perspective and reviewing these key trends it's really all about connectivity or data connectivity and the theme that we're starting to see is this integration and merging of data between business systems um, also connectivity with the shop floor through sensors and connected devices but it's not only about machine or sensor data because well that is a key tool where data is authored but the same is true for data that is being authored every day by employees within their respective business applications so the challenge for manufacturing companies today is not necessarily about creating more data but instead it's all about unlocking and leveraging the potential value that this data represents and the data that is currently trapped within your business systems and it's no surprise to me that the next generation of technology seeks to overcome communication barriers and to improve collaboration. Also focusing on increasing data accessibility and overcoming that traditional data access barrier. And that barrier could be by application, you don't have the right tools to view the information, or you don't have a license to get into the application, or the other barrier could be by geographic location where you're unable to see the information that's held at different company sites. But I see the next generation of technology focusing on liberating that data that is held captive within your line of business systems. It's focusing on data visibility, data accessibility, and ultimately supports the communication and collaboration across the entire value chain or across the entire enterprise. Now, I want to look at the common industry challenge that face information workers within a manufacturing environment. Now, the first one here is gathering product data because many companies collect incredible amounts of data at every stage of a product's life cycle. But unfortunately, most of the, most of the data is generally inaccessible and relevant data is usually spread across the enterprise or on an individual's hard drive or held within multiple business systems. So as you, as you can see here, as a result, the average worker spends approximately 36% of their time searching and consolidating that information. Now, with our tool, Actify Central, we can unlock valuable product data and we can make it accessible and universally consumable for the enterprise. The second point, which is tracking initial development activities, well, traditional business systems, they focus on providing support at the production end of a product's development cycle. And as a result, the initial, the initial de development phases are not effectively documented. 
At Actify, we focus on tracking initial concept and development phases because ultimately that is where 80%, if not more, of a project's costs are defined. The third point, communication uh, or communicating engineering data. Um, many departments across the organization need access to the valuable information that is contained within a CAD file, for example. Now, historically, it has been very expensive to provide CAD tools to non-engineers, and in some cases, it, the ROI of providing CAD tools to engineers who aren't using that CAD system on a daily basis is questionable. But with Actify Central, we can provide cost-effective tools that um, has web-based CAD viewing capabilities, and you can provide that for the complete enterprise. The, the fourth point, which is visibility and access to enterprise data. Now, 80% of enterprise information is either unstructured or is held within business silos and generally inaccessible. But we focus on unifying all of your business system, gathering that data from across the enterprise, putting it into a central neutral repository and delivering visibility to that product data um, so that we overcome that barrier by application or by geographic location. Uh, Self-surface data discovery. 46% um, of users are currently dissatisfied with the existing search capabilities or the search applications that are held within organizations. And what Mark's going to share with you shortly is our central solution, which enables business users to analyze or interrogate CAD data, um, looking at the associated information that's connected with that CAD file, and also the available tools within the application that allows a user to really organically navigate their way around information and do comparisons and have their own discovery of product data. And the last point is keeping product data in sync. Now, the cost of producing from the wrong bill of materials or the wrong file version can be a very serious problem. And Actify Central synchronizes enterprise data. And we do that in an automated and orchestrated fashion. That way we can ensure that everyone is working on the latest file version. We have revisions that are archived using our check-in, check-out functionality. And ultimately we can ensure that concurrent file management is in place in order to prevent data being lost or to prevent data being overwritten when teams collaborate. Now, people are becoming a lot smarter about how they use data. And within a manufacturing environment, you use data on a daily basis. You use data all the time. But it's not just engineers or a skilled worker that needs access to information, because today almost everyone in the company relies on data in some capacity to do their job. And people expect data in real time because consumer technology, such as the iPhone, etc., uh, has made people used to receiving and consuming large amounts of data in order to organize and track other aspects of their personal life. So why can't they receive the same tools and capabilities uh, within their workplace? I see that the challenge that um, organizations are faced today is how do they leverage and integrate their data? The question is, how do they gain and provide access to the data to the wider enterprise? And how do you compress or summarize information to get the right balance between useful information and data overload? And this simple graphic illustrates here how there is an, a magnitude of data held within inside a manufacturing environment and how the traditional means of extracting information from these systems are tedious meetings, manual reporting, or manual data collection. And the illustration on the right just shows you how through software application, such as Actify Central, we connect the dots, we connect those business applications, and we provide you with succinct, easy to understand views of aggregated data to provide you with a, a complete holistic picture of your projects across the enterprise. Now, for many years, workers have been filling these databases with information, and today we're creating more data than we have in any other previous year. The question you should be asking is, what can I do with all of that data, and how are you able to get intelligence from it? I mean, just imagine if you could unlock or release the business value that is trapped within these applications, or even other key sources, such as static Excel spreadsheets. 
this is where I see technology within the manufacturing industry um, really starting to gain traction because continual improvement to achieve greater efficiencies with tighter control over processes remains year after year a top priority for senior execs. So I would expect considerable investment into such enterprise data management systems, uh, especially within the manufacturing industry to come in order to unite the enterprise data, provide data accessibility and visibility to the wider enterprise users, but ultimately leveraging data to unlock valuable insight. Um, so at this point in time, I'm just going to hand over to Mark Anderson, uh, and I believe Mark's going to share with you some of the feature functionalities that uh, will hopefully uh, get you interested about effectively gathering, organizing, and leveraging the product data within your organization. So Mark, if you're ready, I'll hand over to you. Thank you, Scott. Uh, so good morning, everyone. So uh, to begin with, I'll be starting uh, in the pipeline manager side of the Centro. So um, what we can see here are various pipelines I've created. So what I'm just to remind you what I mean by pipeline. So that a pipeline is essentially um, I'm directing Centro to be to uh, monitor a specific folder. So just very quickly going over the quick publisher which uh, I imagine at least 90% of users use for building their pipelines and then modifying them later. So very quickly, what we're seeing here is the uh, saying, I want to look in this folder and anything I, I want to extract to, to output from Centro, I want it to go to this location. And then, of course, we have uh, all the, this, these uh, filtrations and other certain conditions we can set whether we want to, whether we have interest in subdirectories or not, because you can imagine that the folder structure that your files are in right now, uh, it, it could be f full of uh, lots of irrelevant information. So um, could be outdated invoices or something. So it could be any any non-CAD files or or maybe there's uh, pipelines you want to do where you're you're excluding the pipe. Uh, ex sorry, excluding the the CAD files for and you're directing it to certain projects. So that's what you can see here. We can filter uh, non-CAD files here. So CSV is a good example, so I'm in the Excel sheets, um, and of course we can toggle whether to include uh, all or specific valid CAD, uh, CAD types here. Just quickly going through this, so and of course the the native CAD files we can with, we have the CAD to CAD, just like in Swimfire we can convert that to other formats, and that is attached uh, to the uh, resources. Uh, page in the catalog, which we'll, I'll, I'll be going into, into uh, later. And of course, those pipelines can be directed to certain projects or multiple projects. Again, it depends if it's uh, a CAD or non-CAD files that you're dealing with here that you, you, can, you can, of course, dictate which projects those files go into. So here's an example of how a completed pi uh, pipeline looks. And of course, we're uploading files to the catalog or the physical properties, so metadata, uh, the the uh, thumbnail image of those those CAD files, uh, converting it to Spinfire Web, Act 3D, etc. And you can and all these are draggable. You can edit these, and of course, with the pipeline, you can integrate this with your existing business systems. Whether this is picking up files that have come from another system. Or, ex or outputting information from Centro uh, so that another system can then come along and pick up those files and do what's needed with those files. And if you want to get really, uh, and, to get even, and if you want to get more complex with that, you can of course use this run process action, which can call uh, Windows batch scripts to run certain processes. So you can get very, so pipelines can get very technical, very, very complex. So if I go to server pipeline, here's, here's a, here's one example that's, uh, that's that you, you, you don't have with the quick publisher is that I can set certain if control conditions. So I'm saying, uh, if the conditions are met, I want you to commit these actions. So converting to, uh, spin file web, act 3D and images. Uh, and of course I could do the opposite if control, if control, if certain 
uh, folders or file types are not there, I can do if controls to, to not do something. So you, like I said, you can get very, you can be very specific about what you want a pipeline, what you want Centro to do with your files coming into Centro or coming out of Centro. Uh, and of course, Centro could be looking at, is, is not just looking at local files on, on, that, on the server, um, it could be on the network drive somewhere. And of course, any of those files that we 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 we, we pull in with the pipeline manager, um, as you've probably seen in previous webinars uh, or on our website, we can convert these to the spin file web format, which means you can uh, view that 3D model in your browser, and that is a, th a zero download uh, view of your model there. And it's it's very it's, uh, very useful, and I'll, I'll go into that a little bit more in a moment. So. Going to the uh, catalog now, um, obviously the, the Centro is, is acting as your central uh, repository of all your data, uh, your projects, uh, and of course any associated uh, uh, documents can be fed into your, uh, your, your, your CAD assemblies. And of course the assembly is really, uh, and of course this, uh, the navigation of Centro is actually very very nice and simple, not too complex. Um, you can see here that the assembly tree is maintained uh, just like you would see in uh, your spin fire. And files that have come from the pipeline, I can dictate uh, which categories those uh, files go to. Or after they've come from the, after the files have come, uh, come into Centro uh, and they're unassigned, I could just uh, tick all those those particular resources and tell it, okay, I want to move it into my engineering documents or my office documents. So it's very very nice way to organise your files. And of course, we've got all these uh, filters here. So if I type in invoice, of course, it's going to show my my invoice Word document here. And after the files have come into Centro, um, we can even tag them. So if I go to my when the file first came into the system, I can start adding some tags. And those tags are, as you saw here, I can I can filter it here on the resource page. Um, I, I can, and then moving on to the, the search capabilities of uh, Centro, uh, I can search for those tags. So the tags I've just done, I could have, I've just done on that, um, that resource page, that, that path view page even. Uh, I can create these searches. Okay, so I didn't save that United Kingdom ones, but uh, here's one from uh, the here's a uh, file I've tagged uh, with Germany. So as the, as the files go in in our Centro, which I'll elaborate on how more how we can do that later. Um, any tags, uh, any sp uh, specific uh, data like materials, um, we can search for that, and it, and the res the results that come back are very quick and. Uh, very nice, and we can of course change that, change that view, the list, and as we're looking through this this wealth of information from various sources, um, we can of course do a comparison on this page. So okay, so I've done, I've gone and I've used my a search I've already created. By the way, this is how you create an advanced search. You can be very particular about what information you want to pull down from the uh, Centro database. So once I've, 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 I've created all those searches, which I can also share with other users, by the way, you can see it with this icon here. I can then come into this, uh, into this, this part here and start comparing. And you can see here, I've compa I'm comparing two here. I could, be, I could do as many comparisons as I want. I come to this screen switch that to a vertical view and okay so I just want I'm just as interested in any act 3d information act 3d being our, our, our format and it, it's not necessarily just the metadata from the uh, original native CAD files uh, this could be information that has been extracted from a CSV file and I fed that into my uh, data docs, which you may have seen in my in my previous webinars, and so I can I can do, I do very nice comparisons between 
user created data and data that has come from the uh, original native CAD file. If I jump back, of course you can do very quick searches up here. And any of these uh, advanced searches, these the save searches or quick searches, uh, which you'll notice, but you can tell the difference by the color of the, the banner here, these show then show on my home page, which again nicely speeds up your, uh, which essentially the home page I should say just acts as a kind of shortcut to the those active projects you're working on. So um, in my case here, these are all my favorite projects, and uh, these are these are particular uh, assemblies that I have favorited, and any of those. Uh, searches you saw me do, I can, as I'm, as you saw, I can favorite those as well, and they can be on my homepage. So there's there's a lot being there's a lot offered here um, to make things quicker and make sure just make things more. It's everything's just so much more efficient, and uh, just sharing and collaborating, uh, it's just it's fantastic. And uh, going back to how we. Um, so checking files in and out of Centro. Um, so those of you that have seen the previous webinars, we can of course go to the Path View page, check those files out, work on the file, and check it back in. And when I check it back in, I can do some tagging, or I can, and I can even leave a comment. And, uh, and in fact, the administrator can make these comments uh, compulsory, so that we have that we're so basically we're enforcing. Uh, better tracking of the, the, the history of those files. So checking in, checking out is not just CAD models, it could be those other those Office documents. And when those are checked out, other users can't come along and check them out as well. They have to wait for you to finish working on that file. So very good. Um, it's very, so the, so with Centro, the whole, it, it, what's so amazing is that everything is, uh, Synchronized, all that data is synchronized, and it, it essentially it, it's one version of the truth. So, just another way to just elaborate on that. This is uh, the same model, and I have uh, Centro Connect installed. This was new with uh, 7.3, so um, this is actually a folder, but I know it's uh, relevant to Centro Connect because of the icon, obviously. So, if we come into this folder, I then come down to uh, Centro Connect, and okay, if I just just a moment, so if I cancel, cancel that checker, you'll notice the icon disappears. So that file, yes, right. Let me just show you that again slowly. So if we go to checkout, you'll notice on the part view it instantly got checked out. It's now orange. I can cancel that. Changes back to green. So uh, checking it out, checking it in, I can leave a comment. Then I can check that back in. And I could even uh, check the version history and see the tags, uh, the comments, which user has been checking in and out. Very nice to see that, that auditability and any uh, resource information here. And if I didn't have my browser open, I could say view this in catalog. And it opens another tab, taking me straight here. So maybe I saw a version history change uh, in this in this interface, and I can then investigate that, of course, by coming to the view in catalog. So of course, with Centro, um, everyone, uh, regardless of geographic locations, uh, can access the projects relevant to them. And, and of course, certain sections of Centro can be out, out uh, not available to certain users. So, of course, uh, from an administrative point of view, the bomb manager or uh, the catalog may not have relevance to their their responsibilities. So you can you can be very specific about individuals uh, and individuals' uh, permissions, as well as uh, their permissions in a specific role, so a certain, uh, so a certain uh, team, 
so engineering and so forth. And in fact, there's one thing, uh, there's a couple of things I forgot to mention uh, with, with the uh, searching capabilities is the 3D search. So that's a file I've uh, imported from outside Centro. It get, then gets imported and then I have these options here to find any similar shapes or duplicates. So of course, uh, given this is a blade, it's seeing that these are have a similar kind of geometry. And I can also do a check for duplicates, which thankfully there isn't. But uh, if, I, if I'm aware of the, the duplicates, I can then go into that part. I come to this uh, part view again, and you'll notice there's this duplicate tab here. And I can then click in there to go to the, the, the other part view of the duplicate. And you know you can take things from there to find out why this this has happened and investigate. Um, and if I jump, and I'll just very quickly show you, um, just on the topic of metadata, so information, uh, whether it's CAD, whether it came from the CAD itself or um, or was extracted from non-CAD files. I just want to. Uh, quickly elaborate on this uh, on the, this capability within the spin for our web view so um, any any information from our, uh, other resources uh, so I ha actually here are two uh, data docs here so the cost and time I can be specific about which information I want to then show on my data tab and if I come to my assembly tree and that as I click through it Notice on the right hand side that the cost and time is changing. So this is not, in this case, this is not information from the native CAD file. This is information that has been uploaded to Centro and it's relevant to the individual components. So um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I want to show today um, and why Centro is, it, it's so good for centralizing information. Uh, Regardless, this with no ge geographic limitations, it's all in the browser with that zero download for the C and the 3D model, and uh, very good for, for gathering, organizing files, and really enriching, uh, and really enriching these uh, uh, your projects with information from various sources. So uh, uh, that's everything I want to show today. Uh, thank you, and uh, now I'll pass you back to Scott. Thanks, Mark. I don't think we have any questions at this stage. Just to summarize what uh, Mark has shared, Centro is a neutral enterprise platform that complements and can connect your existing business systems and processes. Now, the application that Mark showed has many features and functionality which may have seemed very complex, but it's designed to support the entire value chain. and by using modern software techno technology, we hope to improve communication and collaboration to drastically simplify your daily business activities. But just to um, highlight that you can gather information using the central information pipelines. Uh, simply stated, this is a feature that enables users to connect the enterprise and publish or pool data using the central pipeline manager and users can easily configure the pipelines using these triggers and actions the drag and drop control functionality in order to manage the flow of data we also have the ability to develop integrations with your key business systems in order to push and pull um, data to a business system or from a business system of your choice. Um, we also can gather all different file types, but if it was an Excel spreadsheet or CAD file, then we can do something extra special with those file formats, um, such as view 3D CAD model within our Spinfire web application and extract information from both the CAD model and Excel files. With regards to organizing information, uh, we organize that information within our central catalog. And it's a central 
central repository of all your enterprise data. Uh, Centro has this complete perspective of projects, parts, and associated documents. And you can navigate the enterprise data. And we make that easy with that search functionality Mark was demonstrating. But you can search using metadata, attributes. You can search using tags. And you can also do a search using a 3D model itself, leveraging its geometry. So the one point is that uh, we leverage a graph-orientated database, which allows you to build these relationships between components and data in order to have a very dynamic way of navigating enterprise data. And with regards to enriching information, Central helps you to view all of this information in context. The 3D data with the associated resources, uh, Insight is really all about data in context because we can associate components of information such as cost, engineering, supplying, all this sort of data with the 3D CAD model so you can now get a complete picture. You can now visualize this information more effectively that aids people to make smarter, faster, more informed decisions. Um, Centro also provides that platform where users can share files and collaborate and then everyone within the company has access to central, this neutral platform, but also they're able to access up-to-date concurrent information. And some of those analysis tools that you may have seen, which was the compare functionality, we also have a bomb management tool that allows users to review and validate and ultimately categorize data um, for their use. So if you have any more questions or if you have anything um, that you would like to learn more about with regards to Centro or any of Actify solutions, then please do get in touch either with your account manager, your reseller, or indeed um, reach out to us directly through the website using one of our forms. And we'd be more than happy to create a custom demo specific to solving some of your business cases and discuss maybe some of the um, business systems that you have that you would like to look at integration with. So at this stage, I'd like to thank everyone who's joined us on the call today live. Um, you should receive a follow-up email and this recording will be attached. But if you'd like to stay up to date with any of Actify's next webinars, then we do publish them on the website via actify.com slash events. And if you have any topics that you would like to hear more about or learn more about in the future, then please just write to us at marketingactify.com and uh, we can discuss and provide more insight on any of Actify's solutions in the future via a webinar. And um, we'll provide a quick survey at the end of this webinar. If you could take a moment to fill that in, it would be much appreciated. From all of us at the Actify team, we wish you a great weekend and a great day. Thanks very much.